are we going now, Doctor? Well, we've gone to space. We've been to the future. And we've been to present times. Now we're going to a place we've never been. The past. Cool. Uh, are we going to the human past? Yep. Well then, do you mind dropping me off on Clack? I've got some friends there that I can hang out with while you two enjoy humanity's past. Well, if you want to. Thanks, Doctor. Where in the past are we going, Doctor? We're going to the height of the American Revolution against England. Uh, Doctor, if you hadn't noticed, I'm British. Why are you taking me into the middle of a war where my people lose? If you're British, Gwen, where's your accent? I... Exactly. Besides, it'll be good for you to see that the good guys don't always win. Well, Doctor, Britain wasn't completely in the right in that war. Besides, how can you say that the good guys don't always win? You win every time. No, Gwen. You're wrong. I don't always win. This place looks interesting. Let's check out what's inside. Hold. Guards, seize them. Strangely dressed girl, hold on here. Why are you detaining them? Well, sir, they are trespassing on military property. Plus, for all we know, they could be the cause of all these disappearances. Ah, but we're not trespassers. We're from General Washington. I see. Gods, release them. My apologies, miss. The General has sent me and my assistant here to investigate these disappearances. Very good. I would like your names and ranks. I'm Colonel Brent, and this is Captain Van. The rest of the men here are soldiers. General Stan and us commandeered this house a week ago, but a day after that, General Stan was killed. About five days ago, men began disappearing. Of the 20 men we previously had, only seven remain. Hmm, yes, it's quite the mystery. Yes, we've made absolutely no headway on it. If you'll excuse me, I believe my assistant and I shall take a look at the rest of the house. Who do you think took those soldiers, Doctor? Absolutely no idea, but I'm sure we'll find out. Do you see that doorway? That leads to the bedroom. There's also a door in the kitchen which leads to a bathroom. Very good. Now, Colonel, can you tell me where all of the disappearances have been? Well, that's the interesting part. All of them have been at times when all of the rooms have been occupied. Wait, how did people disappear then? That's just it. No one's sure. We all just suddenly realized that someone's missing, and we never find them. Hmm. That's interesting. What's interesting? Oh, it's probably not important. Gwen, I've heard many things in the 2,000 years I've been alive. I've heard the scream of dying, Dalek. I've heard the double heartbeat of a Time Lord. I've heard the breath, first breath of a baby. But the one thing I've never heard is an unimportant fact. Well, I was just going to say something about this house's mirrors. What about the mirrors? This house only has one. Hmm. 
Do you think the mirror has something to do with the disappearances? Well, I might have, but the Sonic is saying that this is a completely ordinary mirror. There's absolutely nothing special about it. Suppose we might as well go back to the living room and ask the soldiers some more questions. I'd like to ask you about the disappearances, Captain. Oh, there's no need for that, sir. I know as much, if not less, than the Colonel. Yet, I'd like to hear your aspect of things anyway. Well, all right. Oh yeah? All of us in the regiment knew each other quite well. It's... it's a terrible business. When you're in the army, you expect to see some of your comrades die in battle. But this disappearing business? It's terrible. When your friend dies in battle, you at least know he went down fighting. But if he just disappears... The worst part of it is what you don't know. I've got some experience with not knowing. What do you not- Wait a moment! Where's James? Colonel, is there at least one person in each room? Good gosh, there is. No, not again. You two, I'm beginning to believe that General Washington didn't send you here. Maybe you two really are the cause of the disappearances. All right, Captain, you want the truth. Gwen and I weren't sent here by General Washington, but that paper stating that we have his full trust and authority to do anything we decide to really is from him. I can concur to that. It's General Washington's handwriting. And we really are here to help. Yes, all right, but who are you? I'm the doctor. And right now, I'm your only hope to find out who's taking your men and to stop them. All right, Doctor, we trust you, but you've got to make sure no more of my men die. I can't take another mysterious disappearance. Colonel, I swear to you that I will not allow another one of your men to die. Not on my watch. Now, from what I've been able to learn, all of the disappearances have occurred here in this very hallway, which is good. How is that good? It's good because that means there is a small area to search for clues in. Right, Doctor? It is indeed, Gwen. Aha! That's James's knife. He used it to make wood carvings. This is wonderful! Why is that, Doctor? Well, Gwen, from what Colonel Brent and Captain Van have told me, no one has been able to find anything that the missing people have had before they disappeared. Not even their clothes. The fact that this knife is here means that James must have placed it there. And he must have placed it there right before he disappeared. Which means we know precisely where he disappeared. James disappeared right here. Which means there's no point in hiding. Come out, Arthank. Doctor. What in heaven's name is that? That is an R think. Every mirror has them. They're usually harmless. But for some reason, this one is abnormally strong, and it's decided to kill your men. Oh, you were too one killing the men? I sense a monologue coming on. I'm tired of being trapped, Doctor. I don't have my own life. I can only do what the people in front of my mirror do, but there was nothing I could do about this. As you know, Doctor. Simple creatures with little to no power at all. All they can do is move a few things around in the real world. I was like that as well. Until he appeared. He boosted my power, made me stronger. Then he left. But not for telling me about you. Oh yes, Doctor. I know all about you. I know that you call yourself a healer, a helper, a savior. But none of it's true. What you really are is a warrior, a destroyer, the doctor of war. No one can stop you. I know of all of the hundreds of thousands you have destroyed. All of those creatures were evil, so I stopped them. What the children? There, that is the true doctor. I think you were speaking of things you don't understand. Oh, I know enough. I devoured many soldiers, and each one makes me stronger. This is it, Arthank. Right here, right now. I'm giving you a choice. You can return to your old, peaceful life, or you can continue on your current path. If you choose the path of peace, I shall leave you, and you can live in peace. But if you choose to stay on your current path, then I will have no choice but to stop you. Ha! Nothing you say will stop me. 
What's that supposed to do? Oh no. Uh, I, I, eh. Yes! At last! Don't do this! <laughs> Stand back, everyone. <laughs> Yes! 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 We're free. Now you have to live with the consequences. What can you do to me, Doctor? Suck me to death. No. In fact, I'm not gonna do anything. And neither are you. What's that supposed to mean? Well, in your mirror world, you could control certain things in this world. But now that you're in this world, you're just the same as the rest of these humans. You are powerless. What? No! It can't be true! He... he lied to me! Guards, if you will. You're under arrest for killing army officers and men. No! What will happen to the Arthang? I honestly don't know. It's up to Captain Van now. Doctor, I... well... You're wondering if what the Arthang said is true. Gwen, I'm going to tell you the story of the Time War. It's a story of sadness anger, and fear. And it's also the story of a man. What man? Me.